that's waivers for what now? For example, for goods, goods for those who are leaving to get something to restart, those who might have stock on the wall and wanted to clear it. What was said yesterday is that the, the manager of the market would have the affected people list. And when that list is given, I will explore I will explore that. That, that yes. That we are willing to explore. Mr. Robotham, who is here, promised that he would be here today to look at this. Because any coverage can make in terms of canvassing or something. That's what we do. That's what we do. That's what we do. From, because what we she do. right now, if you go down to where she have a little hole in here, all this run back down to answer that she. Okay. Yeah. So, no, so we're looking at hoarding and we're looking at covering. And those are some of the things we're doing to be able to clear it so it doesn't affect those that remain there. Please, people are still at risk where water damage is concerned because if the rain falls now, the water will run all the way down. So, how oh, soon? I mean, just, just imagine, we had this discussion yesterday and those issues were placed on the table. We are here today actually really just looking at it to see, to see how we move forward. So, just, just be patient. Just be, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Just be patient. All right. Just understand that we are working with you to see how quickly we can do what we can do. I am the manager of Colonel Charles Arcade. And please, I don't want this black was those two black down there. Where everybody build up what they want to build up. I need years to build back as it is and how many stall they can hold. Because some people dying to take who stall they want to take who stall. And it's not going to work. They say they can get rid of me because me not doing what they want them to, what them want to do. So any day they get rid of me, sorry for them. Because worse than me going to come like how God, the people of Israel had asked for a king. And God set a devil over them. Well, one going worse than me because me. You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> the construction of these stalls will be a participatory approach. The top and the bottom, everybody come together. Not the top alone on the side for us. With, not, with all due respect, with all due respect, Your Worship, we won't tolerate it. John, you talk about participation and um, you take the discussion. There are some decisions we take together and there are some decisions we take. We take. We listen and we are going to respect it and we are going to see how much of it we can take on board. But I want to say that because, and I'm not suggesting that's what you were saying, but sometimes people believe that because it's participation, anything them says is what must go. So, I mean, it's, it's an open discussion where we are willing to take your suggestions on board because you are here and it's not the first file. It's probably what, it's what, the fourth? The fourth or the fifth style. Yeah, the four, about the, about the fourth. About the fourth fire. So, so you have some experience and you have some things that you can say to us that could probably prevent some of it from happening again and from doing, for doing things a little differently. And we are willing to listen to that. We are willing to take some of that on board and then we make the decision about how we move forward with it. So allow me now for yes, actually see the thing yes. so that um, we can move from there. But after you do your assessment with your team, I will ask that before you leave. We will try to find you to say your last word before you leave. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I would just like to say we are still at the location here at Pernell Charles Arcade. And as we try to look at this devastating, um, you know, burning down, we are trying to map up some of the, the views and to hear from the people who are affected mostly our, of this fire since last Friday, the 24th of August 2012, as early as after 6 a.m. in the morning. We are here. Could you introduce yourself and say what about? My name is Kay. I'm here on the behalf of Jenita Nelson. She lost five star off right there. Stuck from top to bottom, everything. And my name is Patricia, yes. Um I don't I don't know if it's talk I explain because I look at things so I have um a pair of shoes, some of the pair of shoes I'm around here. If I look at start, some of the one foot them burn up, everything gone. We don't even know if I explain. You understand my boss have about three storeroom and it gone. Everything gone in flame. I don't even know. We just want to know just come up with something quick as possible. You understand? But right now I don't even know which way of a term. Everything, I don't even know. While we move through the, the, the actual um, being on the ground here, we are with the spokesperson of the United Vendors Association, Miss Brenda Christie. And I know she's gifted to say how she feel, what she think 
and what you know. Well, we come to our next trial again, an next fire in the Pernell Charge Arcade. So all we have to do as the vendors and people put together and try to rebuild. This thing is not an easy thing, not an easy task. This is not really an easy task. Several of us in here had been burned out, about 60 something stall burned out. And we are in the process now of really walking and looking through and trying to see what can be done to get the place up and running again. In Jesus name, Amen. How you feel about what was promised? Well, I believe if they stick to the word, we will get through here in the next, in the next four to six weeks. The arcade will, be, will start. Something will start at the arcade up and running. I've just speak to the mayor a while ago, the Honorable Her Worship, the mayor, Angela Brownberg. And she's saying now, why she are here is to mop up some of the report to get action on the ground. Assess you, the damage. you assess the damage. But the vendors are really and ready to start sell. So the quicker this place comes together, the better it is for us. Issue like the light was speak about, issue like covering up the roof, issue like the cleaning up of the area, the moving out of the burnout stall. How you think about those? Those were things on the table yesterday at the meeting. Well, right here now, we need the light, we need the covering and the cleaning out of the stall. That is most urgent. We would really like them to really act on it. So they stick to their word. You believe within that two weeks limit? Not that they give us at a time limit, but it was suggested that they, they want to do something within two weeks. Yes, I believe if they stick to their word, we'll be back up and running again. And we were promised that there will be a smaller committee coming from different sections, which will meet to, to, to tell us the finding as soon as they, they grab land that. Things that was promised, like for example, she said she's going to move towards the, the free clearance. She just told us that's a while ago. For people who have goods on the wall, burnout, for people who gone already and looking to come back. So as soon as the market manager furnished that list to myself and you, then we attach a letter to it and send it also a copy of it back to the KCC and the relevant ministry. What do you think about that? I think it's a good suggestion and I think we should act on it. These people are people, we pay them, we are the cash cow, we vendors, the cash cow for the government. So I really think we should get some help. We should get some bailout from them also. Is it that they, they have off this arcade as one of them, they rich and famous? We're not rich, we just try to help ourselves. We're a strong set of women and we try to help ourselves. Women and men in here, we try to help ourselves. We don't take part for answer. Better star, like concrete. These are um, mesh don't work. So when the comment said a while ago by the manager of the market that they don't want when the rebuilding of the stall, which is the direction they may also looking in, that everybody just come and come up with a double house, a V house or a square house or a triangle house. It will be something more formidable to everybody. Yeah, why why that happen at first? Because most of the people that got burned out in the first time, they didn't hone back the stall. So people just control it. But now that is a different thing. Everybody gonna own back the space, so there is nothing to build no big house over. All right, the speedy issue about looking at some clearance right now, free clearance, which is promised. As soon as we get the list from the market manager and the KCAC endorsement and send it to the relevant ministry, you think that would be one of a, a step into the right direction? I think so, and I'm glad for it. Okay. People ask me why it has taken me so long to come. Part of it is that the committee have been disciplined on our part in the sense that even the investigators have not been able to do a proper assessment because they say the scene has been contaminated and compromised because individuals have been trepsing through. And so I didn't want to contribute to that. I wanted to give them enough time to do their investigation, do what they need to do, and so on. Which is what, which is what I did. And sometimes a little bit of patience probably will help so that we can get to the bottom of it. Because now a lot of evidence and stuff has been disturbed. And um, they can't tell us. They can't do a proper assessment because so many people have come through, have removed this, have disturbed the scene and so on, which is also, again, unfortunate. As somebody said, this is the fourth fire we are having in the district and so on. We have to find a way to get to the bottom of them and to begin to stop them. Yeah, well, I think I just wanted to leave back with you that I know you are, you are the city authority, more over the mayor, her, her worship, that the, the prime minister, as soon as I know you'll get a call on to her, see her person that maybe chipping through the airport, maybe you're going in one direction, she, she might say to you, how things is going down at Pernell Charles Arcade? And I know you will put it in the right framework. 
that she has been caught. I mean, we have been talking about what is happening because, as I said to you, I've been keeping in touch with the persons who have been working here, whether it is um, the city inspector, um, the commercial services manager, individuals with responsibility for the market and for parental child's arcade. So, I mean, it's not that um, because I haven't been here physically doesn't mean that I don't know what is happening. Actually, stopped out there the first day. The crowd was there, the anger was there, and sometimes you want to just allow the tension to kind of ease before you do anything else. We are here with a vendor and would like to you introduce yourself and say what you have to say at this time based on the devastation. I'm selling the furniture as I keep as it just been the first time it belongs in here. And this is the fourth time fire for me. You can't take the money. But I know if you uh, if you have goods you have to insure it. Because if you rent a house and you have your bed in there, if you're not insure it and it's gonna the landlord not give out the bed. So we know it goes. So you know. Anything I can do still I can go on. You understand? You don't know, want to build it back when we get back my spot to sell it. You understand? I think the mayor said that they are paying it. That's why she and her technical team is here and they wanted to move to that and also the clearing out of these stalls and the, clean, the general cleaning out. I think they are close now with the assessment in terms of the assessors, like the insurance people. So you, you would like to see these immediate things and you will feel a bit comfortable in your mind. Not that you are totally comfortable. No, but we talk about these things, clean up everything, and we just come back to one again. You understand me? Because every time we burn, we'll come back again. You know? We know if we bounce back, you know, yes. and come right back. You promise that if you have anything to clear, please, you will make sure to check the list to see that your name is there, and send it to the relevant ministry, Ministry of Finance, Custom and Excise, to see to it that it is all at all airport, as soon as it is approved, that people can start benefiting that year or two. In light of getting back some compensation, you, it is very clear that we, the Vendor Association, would have to use our good office, contact the Ministry of Local Government, the Ministry of Labor and Social Security, and also the Ministry of Finance, send it back to the KCLC, ask them to lobby to for support, and to see what compensation. For example, there's a fire in Brownstone sentence, and we represent the vendor there. And they start out of 66 stars, 36 are 14. And from Monday coming, they will start the distribution. You know, you never give anybody to put down, but they spend the deal, got back some, 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 some compensation to the Ministry of Labor and Social Security. So we will push forward so that if it eat, whatever you get, you can buy whether a thousand US or what, it will make you a start. So we thank you. Since the fire of the 24th of August 2012, as early as 6.30 a.m. in the morning. We have another vendor who have suffered in that devastation. I would like to say something. Based on all, all what is happening since, because it's now one week since the fire, I want to hear your view. Introduce yourself. I'm Loban. They're talking about go buy and come back and get free clearance. Want to, want to, who can make it back? Figure buy. Who not have the money to start again? Want to them people? And that more I ask the mayor and them the KCC and you. Okay, first it was said that they're not going to promise us anything. They know the building is insured and the building will reconstruct back. It will be rebuilt and people will be back home in very short or long term and middle term order. Myself, from the Jamaica Vendors Eagles and Market Association, as its president, the Minister of Finance, the Minister of Local Government, copy those letters to the KCC and ask them to give also lip support to it that you can benefit something this is not new i'm telling you about a situation right now in brownstone st Anne's, where the arcade was burned out the, oh, the, the dry goods section was burned out and since last week out of 66 stall 36 have put back in the roof have been replaced the vendors out of that through the ministry of labor and social security got a stipend of over 50 thousand it's might be small but it's still a compensation to them so that's why we're gonna move through those avenues so why there is there's still hopes to get something from you and the mayor told us that the, the prime minister have it close to her chest wondering what is happening to you down here yeah that moment because that's my concern you know. that's the second fire the first one the 
Lisa McKenzie keep a meeting down the shop and tell, tell the people then they can come but they cannot talk. Yeah, but this is a food fire in Pernambuco. It's a food fire now. The second one is catch me. So I can't talk about the first and the second. You understand? Me not the second, the third and the fourth. Nothing me not get back. I'm a lose a lot. You can't go through so. Oh my god, so bad. You can't live so. Oh my god, so bad. Alright, so every time me get the money and stack it and it burned up. Yeah. And me not have no help. Yes, still me have pay a registration fee, stall fee. I mean I have no to get back. Some of the things the vendors talk about in the medium term come in and when the arcade rebuild. That the security have to step up. Locking time in terms of when the arcade open and when it closed. Cameras placed at strategic points. All these gonna be sheer issue on behalf of the vendors and your landlord, the KSAC.